So recently I've seen a number of questions about uploading to the Falcon controllers, getting Xlight set up in preparation to do so, and how it all actually works. So I figured I'd do a quick video and walk you through it. So kind of a quick introdu introduction objectives, um, setting up your layout, validating it, the eventual uploading configuration, and then uploading your string ports. As always, the first thing is, you know, support the Xlights team. If you haven't done so, if you go to xlights.org, on the left-hand side here, there's a donate button. Um, go ahead and spend five, ten, fifteen dollars, whatever you can afford, and support the team behind this. As Xlights is free for all of us to use, but it does cost money to run it. I'm also going to say that this video is not to say there's a right or wrong way to set up your layout. Um, I think that's an important point because there are many different ways that you can do it. This is just one way that I hope helps on, uh, helps you get yours set up and up and running. So with that, I'm going to start by going into my Falcon controller. So this is a Falcon F16 V3, just like you would get it directly from um, David Pitts at pixelcontroller.com. You'll notice my E131 setup is very basic. It's going to be 32 universes, 512 channels per universe, and my string ports. Um, again, this is directly as it comes from David, so because I'm using the expansion board, it's just 50 pixels per channel, 32 channels. So right out of the box how you'll get it and everybody else will get it. If you have an expansion board, um, pay attention to your pixels for the main board and the expansion board to make sure that there's enough pixels on either one to support whatever your layout actually is. So enough about that. Let's go over to X lights. So the first thing you're going to want to do is in your setup tab. You can see here in my setup, I do things a little different than some people. Um, I actually block all of my controllers in, um, in blocks of 100. So you can see controller 1 starts at universe 100. Controller 2 is at universe 200. And controller 3 is at 300. Um, there's no right or wrong way to do this. It's the way I do it. I also only use the 510 channels only because it's divisible by 3. Some people say it doesn't matter. Others say it does. For me, it's just as easy to make sure that it's divisible by 3. So make sure you have your controller set up and all your universes set up because these eventually are going to be uploaded to the Falcon controller. The next thing after you have your setup done is your layout. And there's a number of things that I want to pay attention to. So I'm going to start with my mega tree. I know a lot of you have a mega tree, so I hope this helps a little. The one thing I'm going to point to specifically is the strings. This number of strings also is going to designate how many ports it's going to be using. So in this example, um, and actually before I go there, let me pay attention to a couple other fields. So you're also your controller connection. This is the actual port on the controller that it's going to connect to. And in my situation, you can see here, it's WAS2811 and 1. And 1 is designating that I'm connecting to port 1 on my controller. The strings here is designating how many ports I'm actually going to use. So there's multiple things in X slides, but as far as the upload's concerned, this is going to designate that. So when I upload this, it's going to start it. Uh, port 1 and use 16 ports and assign 200 uh, um, pixels per output for my total of 3200 pixels for my mega tree. Um, the next thing I want to go to is kind of your actual layout. So again, um, as you saw in my setup, I have my start channel is I do universe, I don't do absolute. It's personal preference. Um, so what you can see here, I have universe 100, channel 1, and in my setup, that would um, come back to here to this particular line for universe 100, channel 1. And then again, my controller connection is 1. And in the, this example, I actually have eight snowflakes that are connected to the same exact port. One thing to be noted here is that you'll notice as I go through, through these, each of them have their controller con connection set. That way, when it goes to upload, it knows what to do with that particular element. If you don't have that set, it, it'll throw it off when you actually go to do your upload. And we actually may, I may do that in this video. We'll see, so you can see what actually happens. 
So that's kind of the important thing. So really is your start channel is important. Obviously, you can do the tools check sequence to make sure you don't have anything um, that's overlapping. The other is this controller connection, which designates which port on the actual controller that this is going to upload to. Now, before you do an upload, what I recommend and what I actually do myself is I go ahead and I go up to tools and I do an export models. So what that's going to do, I'll just call it all models. It's going to create a CVS or an Excel file of all of my models that I can go ahead and work with. And here's why I do that. So if I go ahead and pull this all models, the first thing I want to do is I delete all the model groups because I don't really care about them in this particular situation. So let's delete those, delete these, and let's delete all of these. Delete. Okay. And delete you. So that cleans it up so it's just my elements now in this particular spreadsheet. The next thing I do is I go ahead and I actually sort on this column called start channel number. So if I go sort A to Z, it pulls it up all the way down in, in, um, in numerical order. This allows for me to do a couple of things. Is One, now at a holistic view, I can see my controller connection that I've set. I can see the universe that I've set and for all of my models. So if I go through here, I can see, yes, those eight are on port one, those ones are on port two, port three, and down the line. Then I can also see, you'll notice down here, where I have my universe set, but I haven't set anything up for this particular controller yet. So I haven't defined my controller connections, um, which I will do, but you, this is quickly lets me see did I define everything or not? I can get rid of the P10. We don't need those either. Um, and I can quickly make sure that everything's set up correctly. So I can come down. I can see that, yes, my windows all have one, that con one connection. My roof matrix, you'll notice it's on um, port 17. But on my string ports over here, remember I mentioned the string count? It's actually four. So it's going to upload to those four ports. And we're actually going to do this here in a second so you can see that. And then I can see down the line the rest of my controller connections. It gives me a quick and easy way to make sure that I've set it up correctly prior to the upload. Now that I know everything is good for this particular controller, let's go ahead and do the upload. So the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to upload to controller E131 and to the Falcon first thing you're going to want to do before you anything else. So let's go ahead and do that. And it says Falcon upload complete. So now if I go back to my Falcon and I go to my E131, you'll notice now all my universes match exactly what I had inside of x -Lights. So you don't have to set anything up here. It's just as simple as clicking that upload. Now we haven't done the string ports yet, but let's just go ahead and go over here. And you'll notice everything is red. Why? Because there is no universe one anymore. And that's nothing to be alarmed about. You can just ignore that for the moment. So now let's go to upload. And this time we're going to do the output. And I'm going to pick Falcon. Yes. And configuring upload is complete. OK, so let's go back over here and click on my string ports. And you'll notice that I have red, yes, because these are ones that are not in use. But you'll notice that everything, my roof snowflakes uploaded to 384 pixels for that output, my roof line 454. So exactly as I have it set up in x lights is now here and available in my Falcon controller. So if I wanted to, I can just do this as 121. I just do 121 just to clean it up and get rid of the red. And this one, we can do 138, 138. And for me, I'm just going to mark these as no, as blank, because they are blank. And same with these.
and save. And that's it. So you'll notice my matrix was four strings. and went ahead and it uploaded, and it properly calculated what the um, universe it's using, the channels it's using um, for the four outputs, and then my snowflakes appropriately, and then window four, which is my three windows, 102. So you can see how simple that was. I didn't have to set up anything in my Falcon controller. I could plug it in, hook up the lights, do output to lights from X lights, and everything would run as expected. I hope you find this useful. And again, just kind of a recap. Make sure you have your setup here and your layout. What you want to pay attention to, again, is make sure that every element has its controller connection defined, that you have your start channels defined properly um, prior to your upload. If you don't set this up, especially this, when you go to upload, you're not going to get the desired results. Again, if you have any questions, please let me know. Thank you.